you can think this and that. You, you can become, I'm the six figure this. I'm the... I'm, I'm I'm six foot this. That shit don't matter, bro. But if you don't think of yourself and you don't love yourself at, at the end of the day, that shit don't matter, bro. Well, that I, I that... didn't want to. I don't want to move the goalpost, bro. Like we was talking about the the really the argument was being able to stay and go the long haul with this information. That's what that's where the dispute was coming from. That at some point when people get the red pill, they kind of just not they don't stick with it. And right. so what I was going at was that it goes back to what I was saying, the, the end game of it was legacy. Once you come into this awareness of it, I'm going to stop using red pill. Once you come into this awareness of what you're doing, now you uh, you have a great power that you have to continue on for the long haul. So you don't have to pick and choose when you want to be this and when you want to be that. It's right. just now it comes a part of you. You cultivate this culture that you want around you. So when I look at the red pill, I look at it as the awareness of me being – the greatest that I can be. So when I do pass this information on, it doesn't allow the next generation to slip up and go back into that, what they would call blue pill state. It's like so cursing. Now, and, and, yeah. It's like cursing. You curse, no. you don't curse around in front of your mother, right? So yeah, it's selective. Yeah, but, but you, you still, still that yeah. nigga, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. so and, it's just, it's, yeah. So that was the, that was the rebuttal, like you said, like just understanding like if it's going the long haul, like now that I'm in this awareness, I have a responsibility. So now I need to continue to right. press towards the mark to be the best version of myself. And that's where the loving yourself and that comes into play because that's the process. But the end game was this. When I got past this, a person can say, you know what? He was the best that he could be. It wasn't me telling myself all the time I can be that. It's other people. The market is determining who I am. And as I leave and continue, my legacy will like always my. continue that. So other people around me are saying, you know what? That guy, he improved and he continued to grow from there. So that, that's that's all I was saying about that. So Yeah. Here, oh, yeah, I, yeah. I, 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 here, I wanted to go back to Mike on the original question, though, really quick. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the, Mike, uh, yeah. So the, uh, on the question I was asking, though, um, what – like, what do you think people, how do you handle family whenever you go red pill and like you got to tell them or do you just not talk to them about it? No, I mean, when you boil it down, red pill is just a placeholder term for understanding how the world really works. Right. Oh. And when you understand that, right, you're going to make certain decisions and make certain moves that might upset your family members or they might support you. You know, it's it, it's one or the other. Right. Yeah, you never know. And if, yeah. And if they end up, you know, not you know supporting what you're trying to do, then listen, I believe I don't like to live with hate in my heart. You know, I truly don't. I don't see any net benefit to it. I think it's just going to be a kind of uh, it's a feeling, cancer. Yeah, it's going to lead yeah, me to a kind of feeling terrible. where it's it's a dead end. It hits a dead end at some point, right? There's no benefit to having hate in your heart. So obviously, when you get to a certain age, right, as a man, you understand how the world works and you understand that you live in a capitalistic society where you have to perform. So you have to make these choices. You know what I'm saying? And not a lot of guys – we have to understand we're a very small minority of guys in Absolutely. the world who understand this information. Very much so, yeah. A yeah. lot of guys, like, you know, my age especially, they don't know any of this stuff, right, especially yeah. Gen Z and all this shit. Like, man, what's going on here is that a lot of these guys don't understand the, the fight that they're going to be up against. Right. You know, and now once you understand this information, right, if your family doesn't support you, then look, listen, it's okay, mom. I still love you. Or it's okay, pops. I still love you, but I got to do what I got to do to, you know, make my bread in this world, to make my place in this world. And if, you know, and if you don't support it, then it is what it is. You know, I can just love you from a distance. Right. You know and, I can right. I can love you from a distance. You know, you don't yeah. have to be Very important. where I am in order to make, uh, try to get to where I'm trying to be. Right. You know, I, so that's what it boils down to. And and let, let me let me say this real quick, too. Like, b b before we skip out the family shit, like, for me, um, you know, doing content was a blessing that I didn't know that came because, you know, you live your life, you know, if you're 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 years, however the fuck old you are, right? So, like, I started YouTube, you know, I was late 30s, and I didn't get any, I didn't get any support from my family, and I didn't really expect it, but the, but the point that I'm making is, is creating content it it taught me that family was just a word because because i'm able to get the support that i need from strangers and even even if i have my family i kind of got to like teach them how to support me mm. and other people just do it talk about facts it. you talk see what i'm it. saying yeah. so talk about that's it. the real game yeah cuz sometimes it don't even be their fault man like you know what i'm yeah. saying your parents grew up in a generation prior the world was a different place back then so you just kind of have to kind of not, I don't want to say, well, yeah, just kind of coach him through the process. You know what I'm saying? Like, listen, man. Oh, big boy. I, I told you it was over like 30 minutes ago. God Brent, damn, bro. 
Brent hasn't gone yet. Too, but, yeah, uh, or Brent, did, did you talk about the family thing? Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, first. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. First. No, he went first. Uh, Av, you want you have anything to say about the family thing? No, nah, I mean, I kind of, I kind of touched on it, but yeah. at the end of the day, you know, like I said, guys, you got to make a choice. Um, you know, your family will always be family, but like he said, family is just a word, and family, um doesn't mean you don't have to be blood related to be family you know we have kind of created a family with discord meetups people that have kind of you know you put you put a really good post you said a client will support you more faster than a family member and a lot of times when we're in this niche they won't support you because they're scared Mm -hmm. to lose and what comes at the price of us understanding this information how much Mm -hmm. have we lost knowing this information (laughs) but how much have we gained Yep. So it's all about quad, um, quality versus quantity. We may have lost a lot, but the quality of what we've gained surpasses the quantity that we've lost. So at the end of the day, it's all about choices, guys. If When you choose yourself, you'll find like-minded men who choose themselves as well. And there's a certain camaraderie and respect there because we all know the shit that we have to go through to be here. So once we're, we're like, yo, what's up? It's like another black dude with a beard that says what's up to me. I don't fucking know him, but he's like, yo, what's up? It's that camaraderie because we all know that we are aware and we lost a lot of shit. So that's where you really find who your quote unquote family and people who will support you would be. Yeah. And that's, and that's the thing. Cause, cause so, so let's say that your thing is doing call of duty, you know, that's your, you know, that's your lane. You will find those people who do that same shit. And then that'll be your lane and you will find those people as the quote unquote be your family. Mm -hmm. So put that quote unquote call of duty, whatever the fuck that is, into the family, into whatever aspect in your life that you need. And those will be your family. And then that is that's who you really know, because I'm not going to lie, like that shit does hurt when you really do find out like your family ain't really shit, bro. Like that, that mm. shit, that, like, like those motherfuckers wow. really like you take the like, titles off and just and just look at the people who and, they are and see. Mm. And, and, and I got to and, and I got to keep giving you props bro, because you're the one who taught me that you're the one who taught me that that just like you got to hold on to the title to fuck your whole life up. And that I mean? and, and that's and, you and have that, a you have like an auntie and shit. she's a goddamn dope fiend. You keep getting her excuses. She's a fucking stealer. Like this is what she is. Just because she facts, is, bro. Just because no, she's real. your mom's sister doesn't make her a better person. That's, and you know, but but you know? but 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 the thing is, just, you know, you know, just to finish this out, it's just like so. So your aunt is a fucking dope fiend and you want to feel bad for her. But the same dope fiend that you feel bad for, you don't feel bad for the person two streets down, you don't feel bad for her. Right. Right. So let her go. Yeah. But yeah. So what I always say too to that guys, I mean, focus on what they are, not who they are. So yeah, she's your mother, but she's also a woman. Right. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, you got to focus on what they are. So, you know, I think we talk about software, hardware at the end of the day, man, we're all human. (laughs) um, And we all have our choices to make in our life. I'm going back to choices. So the choices that you make, um, will be the choices that will either save your life or end your life. So be responsible, hold yourself accountable, and just you know, just because we don't talk anymore, we've grown apart, doesn't mean that I don't love you. Yeah. And that's yeah. what, that's something that I had to come to terms with because I don't really? talk to my mother as much, but you know, she's pushing 70. Um, I, I'm concerned about that, but at the end of the day, um, I can't unsee what we've learned, right? Yeah. That's the gift and the curse of this red pill shit. Power. You can't unsee yeah. it. Yeah. So even though I've been, I used to be quote unquote happier when I was ignorant, when mm-hmm. I was a quote unquote Thank sick, because I was bliss. like, I enjoyed the love and shit, right. but now I know it's like, I can't even do it. It's on you now. It's on yep. me. So at the end of the day, my mother lived her life. I still got time. So I'm going to live my life to the fullest and I'm going to do it in the way that I know that it should be lived because now I have been awoken. Yeah. Hey y'all, Sergio here. I just want to mention I've created a completely free guide that shows you exactly how I went from having low confidence and being painfully awkward around women to easily meeting and dating numerous high quality desirable women in real life without the use of any dating apps or social media. So if you're struggling to get out there, if you have approach anxiety or don't know what to say or how to interact with women to make them want you and are sick of using dating apps with low value girls that hundreds of other guys have been chatting with, click the link in the description below to grab your free guide right now. And if you want private mentorship with me personally to help guide you every step of the way in this process, check out my mentorship program in the description too. I would be happy to help you reach your dating goals and overcome any obstacle you may face. And trust me, if I can do it, you can do it too. 
I hope to see you soon. Peace out.